This video will go through my trial and error process in trying to make the tune shading and modelling that is seen in the ship. None of this came fully formed. I had to try many different approaches. Even as I read this, I'm having new ideas on how to improve. I started by getting some references. These are mostly from anime and 2D style shaded ships. I really like the streaks and the highlights, especially on the flat panels. To get this effect, I tried a variety of different methods. Making a texture move with the camera, compositing it in post, and also trying to create my own shaders. This gave me a lot of control as I could see it in the viewport as I was making the models. But the issue was getting the unrealistic shading in these references, such as the streaks and the edges. So instead of making a complex shader, I made some changes to the meshes in order to get these effects. I found this worked out quite nicely, but it also meant that I had to have multiple different shaders instead of one and I'd have to selectively change them on different objects. But since this was tune shading and only used a select few colours, I could just have a node group that would have all of the colours in it, and then I could just plug that in, and everywhere would update all at once. I'd already have a video explaining these shaders in more detail, but for a quick rundown, you need to set the world to all be black, and have only the white light source. You set up a diffuse, have it shader to RGB, and then you split out the shader, get a math node, check it to greater than, have that plug into an emission shader, change the colors. If you use a mixed color node, you can then change which colors you want. And then you can stack multiple for if you want multiple different bands. This is the crux of most of the shaders, but they'll vary it a little bit. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of different shaders for a bunch of different shapes. And these won't look as good until you get into the actual modeling. So here's the already finished model. Uh, I'm just going to remove the caches of the normals just so I can give it a completely clean run through. As you can see, with all of this disabled and turned off, the shaders look very, very dull. All of the shaders have already been applied to this, so you can see that they are just not doing what they were shown to do earlier. All of the shape and the form comes from the actual mesh editing. So there's a couple of different things I do. You can just go into the normals and turn on auto smooth and set the angle range to 180. So this will let you go in and mark all the edges you want to be sharp. And in a lot of cases, this is all you really need. There are some cases where I want to mark the one in from the corner, and this will give the streak effect on the outside edges because it will still be shaded smooth. To make an edge sharp, you could just press Ctrl E and then mark sharp when you have an edge selected. The other thing I'll do is I'll go in and edit normal specifically. You could show the normals in the viewport in this menu. If you have an edge selected, you could press R and then press N, and then that'll rotate only the normals. And I use this on the windows to get the uh, streaky, shiny effect. And the last method I'll use is the data transfer modifier. This can let you transfer normals from a one object to another. So in this case, I'll take an exact copy of my current ship, add the subdivision surface modifier to make it smooth, and then have that give its normals to the original shape, meaning that you can have the sort of curved shading, but on a flat surface. And this, this takes a bit of finicking. Uh, you may want to change the shape of your subdivided mesh a bit, just to get this looking nice, but you could always edit it afterwards. And then once that's done, you could apply it. This will only really work on non-mirrored objects, so you need to apply the mirror before you do this step. So when the shading is all done, you can then add the line art, and you'd think that you'd have to edit and manipulate the mesh in order to have the line art, but no, uh, in this case I just use the line art modifier, and in this one I could just have all of the edges that I want the lines on floating above the surface. If you make a new object, have just edges and just vertices, you can then mark them all as freestyle edge compatible. And this will mean that they always get marked to the line in the line art modifier, meaning that you could just dot them all around the surface and it will put all the lines in. No real geometry needed. The line art uses grease pencil, so add a new grease pencil empty object and then give it the line art modifier and then add a collection that contains all the stuff you want the line art on. This lineup modifier trick has its benefits and drawbacks. 
For instance, if I was to try and look around the ship, it would have all of the line art skewed only to face the camera. The camera needs to be in place for the line art to pick up. So I could have ditched this and just have inverted hull and textured lines internally. But for that I was, I was a bit sceptical, as I wasn't able to get the interior lines, and it meant that I would have to sacrifice a lot of the nice shading. So with this method I stuck with it, but there were some downsides. For instance, if anything came in front of this line art, it would obscure it, so any meshes with transparency would have a really abrupt cutoff for all of the lines. So to fix this I did have to cut around all of the effects. This was something I only realised halfway through. It also had some bugs and caused some crashes, but at that time I was still using Blender 2.8, and I think it's a lot more stable now. And I was able to apply these methods to other models, such as this Energon Bruticus Maximus. So I got to reuse some of the methods I used in the, in the ship model, but I also got to throw in some new ones, like gem-style eye shading, which is uh, more detailed in that other video. I was really proud of this model, actually.